Hello everybody, welcome to Trassy Learning Physics videos. Today we'll be discussing about fundamental and derived units and in that we'll be doing some practice problems related to you fundamental and derived units. This is the first video related to you practice problems. So let's see what all questions we'll be covering in this video. Which one of the following is not a derived physical quantity? So uh, to know which one is not a derived physical quantity, we have to write the formulas for this and then we have to analyze. It will be meter per second. Now this one is derived. Volume is equals to length into breadth into height, uh, which is equals to meter into meter into meter that is meter cube again this is a derived one then we have mass mass is kg okay is just uh, one unit which is the fundamental unit and then we have the force force is mass into acceleration again uh, we have kg into meter per second square so you can see here that force and the volume as well as the speed because they are dependent on the physical quantity and the units only the mass is their fundamental quantity as it has a fundamental unit kg so the answer is this one next question kg meter per second square is not the unit of uh, to find this we have to calculate uh, the units of all of them so first of all what is weight weight is nothing but the force and the force is mass into acceleration we know that the unit of the mass is kg and the acceleration is meter per second square so if you're thinking that how I've got this unit I'll uh, do this quickly acceleration is equals to change in velocity upon time and the velocity is displacement upon time so this will be time and it will be displacement upon time square the fundamental unit of displacement is mass and the fundamental unit of time is second so what I've written here tension is again a force so it will have the same units that is kg meter per second square centrifugal force is also a force so it will have the same units kg meter per second square now let's see work work is equals to force into displacement so obviously we uh, have to multiply force with displacement it will not have the same units but still we'll just write it down kg meter per second square uh, into the fundamental unit of displacement is meter so it will be kg meter square upon second square so I need to know kg meter per second square is not a unit of this one has this unit this one and this one so the one which doesn't have the unit as kg meter per second square is work so their answer is work now the next question which one of the following represents unit of density we know that the density is equal to mass upon volume the unit of mass is kg and the volume is equals to length into breadth into height so if I write in the fundamental unit it's meter into meter into meter so it will be meter cube so we need to look for kg per meter cube so this is the answer the first one kg per meter cube this is the right unit for the density this one cannot be the unit because uh, it has second which is related to time and the, and the formula for density doesn't have the time here we have kilometer which is a unit for the length and we don't have length in density and this is r again the unit for the time we don't have time in the formula of density so these three are incorrect and the correct answer is the first one so that was all about the practice problem related to fundamental and derived units thank you very much for watching this video for more videos you can visit our website transelearning.com have a great day